First of all, I would like to pay my highly respect to the Triple Chain, Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. And I would like to pay my uh, respect to our most vulnerable, Dr. Rangkamak Chandavi Malathero, our professors and uh, associate professors of our Buddhist college as well. I am uh, Huyye, and today uh, I am going to present on the topic uh, Trikaya. And actually, this topic is also uh, was presented by uh, Vulnerable Jia Singh as a remember, but we have chosen the same topic. However, I try my best to share uh, whatever I have learned from the notes in the class with uh, Vulnerable and as well as some uh, research about uh, this topic as well. And hopefully, all uh, Vulnerable uh, friends in the class and online can get more idea from uh, my presentation uh, this morning. Okay, so let's see the contents of my presentation today. So the first one, I will start my presentation with the introduction and then move to the body. And in my body, I have uh, divided into three main parts. The first one, I'm going to talk about the concept of, Buddhist, of the Buddhas in early Buddhism which is in the Pali Canons. And the second one, I am going to uh, talk just briefly about the concept of the Buddha by uh, Sarawasti Vada and Mahasankika, the latest uh, school of uh, Buddhism. And then uh, the concept of the Buddha as Trikaya, which is the main part of my presentation today. Last, I'm going to uh, finish my presentation by the conclusion. Okay, so let's move to my uh, introduction uh, for my presentation today. Uh, I do believe that all friends and everyone have get some ideas or uh, clearer ideas about the concept of the Buddha. As we have known that uh, more than 2,500 years ago that the Buddha has uh, Born and got enlightenment as the historical Buddha, which is uh, was born in India. But because of the development of Buddhism and as well as the concept of the Buddha in the later time, by uh, we can say by his uh, disciple or his uh, followers, so somehow the concept of the Buddha has been developed time to time until in the present time. Okay, so here the concept of the three bodies of the Buddha, or uh, we also can say Trikaya, is the result of the development of the Buddhology. So when we learn about the, uh, the term of the Buddha, it has been developed uh, from time to time. And as we have learned in the class by uh, our dear most vulnerable, he has shared with us that the concept of the Buddhas uh, that has been developed to become a Trikaya. In English, we say the three bodies of the Buddha concept, which is around or come uh, finally, like in the latter time, around the first uh, century AD. It became because uh, from the first time, there are some concepts of the Buddha, but it is not yet, or uh, it was not yet as the Trikaya. Sometimes just uh, like two bodies of the Buddha, but later time, by the Mahayanis, uh, so they developed into the Trikaya uh, at the time um, around 4th century AD. Okay, so let's move to uh, my second uh, main point, which is in the body. And the first one I am going to present just briefly, not uh, in detail, because the main topic is about the Trikaya. But I would like to share with you about the concept of the Buddha in the early Buddhism, which is in the Pali Canons, as we have known about the uh, Tipitaka. Yeah, so we can find the concept of the Buddhas in that. In uh, Chakravati Sayhanata uh, Sutta, the Buddha have taught that Tathagata can be called as a Dhammakaya and Brahmakaya. So this is the word from the Buddha that he has taught to uh, his disciples. So we can see the concept that the Buddha uh, can be called as uh, Dhammakaya and Brahmakaya. Even though so we have known that the Buddha is, uh, I mean, the historical Buddha as a human being, but uh, 
it also can see some uh, like concept that the Buddha can be called as a Dhammakaya or a Brahmakaya as well. Um, in another sutta, in the Pali Canon, which is called Vakali Sutta, and most of you have already known clearly about Vakali Sutta, which is one of the most important sutta, which is the Buddha talk about himself as he compare himself to the Dhamma. One, uh, the Buddha said, Yo Dhammang Pasati, So Mang Pasati, Yo Mang Pasati, So Dhammang Pasati, which is Mean, which means one who see the Dharma, see him, means see the Buddha, and one who see the Buddha, see the Dharma. So, in this comparison, we can see that uh, even though nowadays the Buddha had, uh, the Buddha passed away or got Nirvana years ago, but we also can see the Buddha by practicing the Dhamma, by seeing the Dhamma. So according to the Vakali Sutta, one who see the Dhamma, even those in the latter time, we also can consider us to see the Buddha. Okay, so let's move to the second part of my presentation, the concept of the Buddha by Sarawastivada and Mahasanghika, which is uh, just a bit later development of the concept of the Buddha. Okay, so according to Sarawastivada traditions, they say that the, they, they talk about the two bodies of the Buddha, which are Rupakaya and Dhammakaya. I think this term is like have similar concept to Theravada as well about the Rupakaya as the history called Buddha, which is like the Buddha that consists of the five aggregate, like uh, others, uh, human being as well. But they have uh, mentioned about the two body of the Buddha, which are about the Rupakaya and Dhammakaya. Yeah. And according to them, according to Saravasti Vada school, the Rupakaya subjects to change. As we have, have, have uh, it is like generally accepted in Buddhism, like in uh, our Theravada Buddhism also have, uh, we believe that the, the Rupakaya, I mean the body of every uh, human being has been changed because of the Panjakanta or uh, the five aggregate. So in uh, Saravasti Vada also have uh, the same belief that Rubakaya has been changed and impure. Yeah, changed and impure. However, the Dhammakaya is true body of the Buddha. True body of the Buddha and it doesn't change. Therefore, it is pure. So they believe that uh, the Buddha has divided, like can be considered as a Rupakaya, which is changed and impure, and Dhammakaya, which is non-changed, non-changed, and uh, it is pure. So this is according to the Saravastivada teaching. And you know, the Saravastivadins, it means the follower of Sa Sa Saravastivada, they only take refuge under the Dhammakaya, but not the Rupakaya. As uh, generally, our lay followers, we go to the monastery, to the temple, to take refuge in the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sankaha. In uh, uh, Saravasti Vada, they refuge, they, they take refuge uh, under the Dhammakaya, not the Rupakaya. Yeah. Okay, so let's move to the next part, which is about the Mahasankhika. So how is the difference between uh, Saravastivara and Mahasankhika? Uh, for Mahasankhika, they also introduce a special body of the Buddha, which is called the created body. A body similar to created body like uh, Nama Nakaya. In, I, I, I will talk more about the Nama Kaya. Uh, in the uh, letters of my uh, presentation, which is the, the main point of my speech today. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, according to the Mahasankhika. And Mahasankhika also saw that the Buddha came in this world created as a created body, but the true nature of the Buddha is the Dhammakaya. You see? So this is like more likely to develop to the uh, Trikaya. They believe that uh, the Buddhas 
come to this world um, according to the Theravada it is a physical Buddha Gautama Buddha is like just only created one but the true Buddha is the Dhammakaya so that they introduce the uh, supramandan uh, statues of the Buddha so yeah they, they also believe uh, similarly to uh, Saravasti Vada that uh, the true bodies of the Buddha is the Dhammakaya okay so now it is uh, come to the special uh, like themes of my presentation which is about the concept of the Buddha as a uh, trikaya in English we call uh, three bodies of the Buddha so according to the scholar Namakaya, Arupakaya and Dhammakaya came first so among the three kaya Namakaya, Dhammakaya and Sampogakaya so the first two Namakaya and Dhammakaya came first and Sampogakaya is the last development I mean the last uh, concept that has been developed so far uh, which is uh, introduced by uh, Mahayanis okay and as I have mentioned it has fully developed to become the Trikaya at the uh, like time around 4th uh, century AD so yeah this is the concept that has been uh, developed so far so which are the three body of the Buddha so here you can see clearly the first one is Namakaya second one is Dhammakaya and the last one is Sampokakaya according to uh, my uh, research we can see that uh, it depends on the scholars or the, the teachers they can place or they can put this uh, three body like splitly some they like to put uh, Dhammakaya first Namakaya and Sampokakaya some just Dhammakaya, Namakaya and Sampokakaya but it is, uh, this, it is not a, uh, the, the, the matters in, in this one yes so now let's move to the first important part of my presentation which is uh, Namakaya so which is the Namakaya mean in here Namakaya is the created body yes the created body and it is explained uh, manifest from the Dhammakaya so Namakaya is only the created one and it is manifest from the Dhammakaya which, which is uh, in Mahayana they believe that uh, the true bodies uh, of the Buddha and Namakaya can be appears in any place yeah can be appear in any place any world in the ten direction and according to the Mahayanis Sakyamuni Buddha Gautama Buddha yes which is they consider as the created body of the Buddha only and it come to this world to save the being yeah so this is the concept from uh, Mahayanis okay so Vinyapti uh, Matra Tasi Thani Sethi explained that the Namakaya appear in this world for the well-being of Sravakas Rachet Kabudas yes and the they also uh, for the like Bodhisattva which believe in uh, Mahayana yes and uh, they also uh, not yet in once the ten Bhumi which is uh, do not up, uh, come to the last state of the uh, Mahayana as the, the ten Bhumi in Mahayana believe yet okay so this is the concept of the Namakaya that they believe and the Namakaya can uh, transform into anybody yes can transform to anybody for example like can transform to Sariputta mean the side part of the Buddha uh, Namakaya can also be transformed as the young girl or Suputi so explain in the Dhamma to people so according to the concept they believe that the Namakaya can uh, transform to anybody in order to teach the Dharma I mean for the benefit for other people and so that's why they have an example that sometimes the Sarai Buddha and Suputi which is which are the disciple of the Buddha they somehow they can explain the Dharma which they may like themselves they themselves will not expect to understand yeah 
uh, like this is because of the the, the namakaya that ca have been uh, trans uh, transformed as the sariputta and like to become a disciple but actually that is the namakaya which is the belief in uh, like one of the belief in uh, trikaya okay so this is the main concept of the namakaya which is the created body which uh, come from the dhammakaya so let's move to the second main part is about the dhammakaya okay so this is uh, according to the scholars they have mentioned that dhammakaya is one of the most important teaching uh, the theory is one of the the, the the most important because they consider dhammakaya as the true uh, buddha it is the true nature of the buddha and this is called the tathagata yes tathagata and somehow they also call the uh, buddha natures or uh, tathagata kappa which is uh, we have learned that every human being has the buddha natures within our ourselves yeah and all the buddhas or the namakayas of the various buddha coming from the dhammakaya here you see uh, dhammakaya is the true nature of the buddha and even as the other buddhas like namakaya is also come from the dhammakaya yeah and according to uh, these uh, writers uh, scholars uh, they have mentioned that uh, dhammakaya is sometimes identifies with the buddha natures which i have uh, uh, just mentioned before this and uh, which in mahayana buddhism the fundamental natures of all being so the buddha natures is the fundamental uh, yes uh, natures for for all being in this world and dhammakaya is a synonym we can uh, give the synonym to the dhammakaya, yes, dhammakaya which is uh, the perfect enlightened one uh, beyond all the perceptual form cannot be like explained and as such it is sometimes the synonyms which are uh, like uh, with the other term called sunyata sunyata that we always um, say in english like emptiness which is one of the most important uh, concept in mahayana as well okay so let's move to the last part of uh, my uh, theme about the main point uh, which talk about the sampo kakaya so this is the last part of the trikaya the first one is namakaya second one is dhammakaya and last one is uh, sampo kakaya and according to the scholar sampo kakaya is uh, like the latest development yeah after the namakaya and dhammakaya sampo kakaya is uh, can be translated as the body of enjoyment yes the body of enjoyment uh, the reward the reverted body yes and the body of enjoyment mean that um, the body which teach the dharma to the uh, jhani i mean those who like uh, practice uh, meditation or vipassana uh, bodhisattva and then the sampo kakaya enjoys uh, with them I mean uh, with the, those uh, practitioners so this is the concept of the sampo kakaya in mahayana buddhism okay so according to the scholar mahayana uh, sustra lankara of the asanka they introduced that sampo kakaya is a new body yes it is a new body of the buddha as uh, we have mentioned that yeah it lets us develop uh, in uh, among the trikaya yeah and here according to uh, this sutta and they teach that uh, the teachers about the two types of the sampo kakaya so sampo kakaya can be divided into uh, two main types or two main kinds of it the first one is uh, para sampo kakaya and the second one is about uh, swa sampo kakaya so i am going to elaborate a little bit more about these two types of uh, sampo kakaya and the first one is uh, para sampo kakaya what is the para sampo kakaya mean which is the blessful body of the sex of the other and the other means the bodhisattvas in the buddha world so this is the meaning of para sampo kakayas and the uh, second one swa sampo kakaya swa sampo kakaya means the blessful body from oneself and its own yes so the difference is 
the first one for the sake of others and the second one for uh, own self yes and the meaning only for the, the, the Buddha and this specific body can be seen by the Buddhas in the uh, various lands. So this is the difference between uh, Parasampokakaya and Swasampokakaya. Okay, so now let's uh, come to the conclusion. Uh, yeah, so Again, my main topic today is about Trikaya. In English, we call the three bodies of the Buddha. And as we have discussed, uh, the concept of the Buddha has been developed uh, from time to time. After the Buddha like uh, got uh, Nirvana or passed away, and then in the later time by his disciple has been developed. And different school may have uh, uh, different interpretations of the concept of the Buddha but mostly like we also can see some uh, like similarities uh, among those as well okay and according to the scholar as we have men I have mentioned that Namakaya and Rupakaya uh, Namakaya or Rupakaya the, the same and Namakaya came first and then Sampokakaya is the later development which is the new concept uh, in uh, Mahayana Buddhism. So amongst the three kayas in uh, Mahayana Buddhism, Namakaya and Dhammakaya came first, and then in the later times, uh, Sampokakaya uh, came, came, came out. So this is about the concept of the three kaya and just uh, a bit more about it is that uh, Namakaya According to Mahayana, it's like created body of the Buddha. It derived from the Dhammakaya, and they believe that Dhammakaya is the true uh, Buddha, like the Buddha natures. And Sampokakaya is uh, the enjoyed body of the Buddha. So now come to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your pay attention. Thank you very much.